Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to show you today how to carry or unlock your phone for it to work on any network worldwide. You want to know how? Let's check it out. So, it's three simple steps. You're going to want to get your IMEI code, you're going to submit your order, and then once you've got your unlock code, we're going to show you how to unlock it as well. So the first step is getting the IMEI code relatively straightforward. There are three ways to do it. The simplest way is actually on the phone. You want to go to your phone dialer, type star hash zero six hash. For my American friends, it's star pound zero six pound. It's the same one, but for some reason it's you call it pound. So boom. As you can see there, now I've actually blocked mine out for security reasons because obviously it's my IMEI. So you want to write either write that down or just keep that handy for the next stage. Now, there is another, another way to actually get the IMEI as well. The second way is actually to take the back off the phone. Underneath the battery, there's the IMEI number. And again, you can do it that way. Personally, I just recommend doing it that way, um, actually getting it off the phone itself. And the third way is, yes, it's on the box itself. So as you can see here, again, I've just uh, blocked my IMEI just out for security reasons. There's the IMEI just underneath my thumb. Again, if I write that down, I just have that handy for the next stage. Now, some people are going to be thinking, will this actually void my warranty on my phone? Don't worry, it doesn't avoid any warranty. You are safe to do it. So, what we're going to do, head over to the computer. I'm going to show you how to make your order. Right, so here we are on theunlockingcompany.com. Now, this is very, very straightforward. All you need to do is choose your phone manufacturer. So, in this case, we're going to choose Samsung, because we're doing a Galaxy S5 today. And then you want to choose your phone model. So, you can see here, it's just given all the little model numbers. So, what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. And it is all the way down to the bottom. And you've got two different options. Now, it's either Europe or worldwide. Now, I'm in Europe, so I'll click that. If you are worldwide, then click worldwide. So I'll click that. And then what you want to do is click get unlocking code. So I'll click on that bad boy. I'm going to go to the next stage. So what it's asking for is where was it purchased from? What country was it purchased from? Now, my device was purchased in the United Kingdom. So I will click United Kingdom. If you're in America and you've purchased it from, a, say, an AT&T store or T-Mobile, then you will click that as an example. Now, you can use this for any carrier worldwide. It's not just for United Kingdom, America. It's for all these different countries. If you name it, it is going to pretty much be on the list. For me, I want to click United Kingdom. So I click that. And at this point, it's going to ask you what carrier the phone is locked to. So where did you purchase the phone? What network did you purchase it from? So mine is locked to the Vodafone network here in the UK. And again, another example for you is, again, if you're in America, you may purchase it on AT&T, T-Mobile, whoever it may be. And again, again, it could be for anyone. It could be for Australia, Canada, you name it, it's there. So I'm going to click Vodafone for myself. Now at this point, you're going to put in my IMEI number and we're going to go to the next stage. So I will go to the next stage now. Right, so now we're at the final stage. It gives you two ways to pay. You can pay via a credit or debit card. Alternatively, like I do for everything, you can use PayPal. So all you do is you go to your checkout and job done. Now the price and time can vary, but they do promise to be both the cheapest and the quickest on the market, which let's be honest, you can't really argue with. Once you've made your order, you'll get an email with a confirmation, and then you should get your unlock code pretty quick after that. Once you've got your code, we're going to go back to the phone and show you how to do it. But again, if you want to use the unlocking company, I will put a link in the description and you can go check them out. Anyway, let's go back to the phone and we'll show you how to use the code you've just purchased. Right, so then you've got your unlocking code. Now, my phone is, again, as I said, it's locked to the Vodafone network. And what you need to do is put a different SIM card in for a different carrier. So I've actually got a nano SIM card here that's actually in an adapter. And this is on the 3 network. So I'm just going to put that into the phone and then we'll boot the phone back up. Right, so your device will have fully turned on. So all you need to do is actually go to your lock screen and unlock it like you normally would. Now at this point, it's going to ask you for your SIM network unlock pin. Now it's relatively straightforward. When you purchase your unlock code from the unlockingcompany.com, um, they will send you the email. Now within the email, you have a code. So within mine, I have got 614, so 614-928-49. And at that point, all you need to do is click unlock. So if I click unlock, boom, as you can see there, it says network lock. Oh, well, it was successful. So I just get rid of that. I am now fully unlocked on the three network here in the UK. So I want to pull it down. It's got no service at the moment, but it is fully unlocked. So what I'll do is actually put in another SIM card to show you that it's not just unlocked just to three. It will be unlocked to every network as well. So hold on for two secs and I will show you another network it is with. Right, so first of all, as you can see there, we are unlocked to three. What I'll do now is I'll put another SIM card in and I'll show you another one. Right, so we've put another SIM card in. This time it's on the E network. So if I, again, if I uh, just bring it into focus here for you, you will see it's now on EE. 
So again, this phone was purchased here in the UK, locked to the Vodafone network. It is now unlocked to any carrier anywhere worldwide. So if I go to America, to Australia, hint, hint, then yes, it will work anywhere I take it. So if I move to Australia, I'll take this bad boy with me, stick my SIM card in there, and job done, away we go. So that's it, people. It really is that straightforward. So I was running down really quickly. Get your AMEI number. Once you've got that, go to the unlockingcompany.com. Once you've placed your order, you receive an email with your code. You need to put in a different carrier SIM card than the one purchased on. So as an example, this was purchased on Vodafone. I've put a three SIM card in. Boom. The unlock code that I've got from the unlockingcompany.com. Stick that into the phone. Your phone's unlocked worldwide. And again, it really is that simple. And that's it, people. That's how you unlock, you carry it unlock, your Samsung Galaxy S5. Really, really simple, wasn't it? If you have any questions about this or anything else you're not to do by now, hit me up down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, it is very much appreciated, and subscribe for more. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.